Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data. In this video, you'll learn how to create charts and graphs in Google Sheets. We'll look at different ways you can visualize data in Google Sheets. We'll cover line charts, column charts, and pie charts. And once you've created your charts, I'll show you how you can add them to your presentations and documents in Google Drive. To create our charts, we're going to use the example spreadsheet we created in my Google Sheets tutorial for beginners. If you're just getting started, please take a moment to check it out. I've included a link in the description below this video. Okay, let's get started. Let's head to Google Sheets. We can see we're looking at our example spreadsheet. It includes names, email addresses, and there's a column showing each person's membership level along with the revenue received from each person and the date they joined. Let's start by creating a line chart that shows the amount of revenue by date. To do this, let's select the cells for the chart. I'm going to select G2 to H13. Now let's select Insert, and then Chart. We can see that Google Sheets has automatically added a chart to our spreadsheet. Let's select the chart type. This lets us view the different types of charts we can use. Let's select smooth line chart. We can see that the date people joined is automatically selected as the x-axis and that revenue is the series or the line presented in the chart. We can change all of these options. For example, we can change the ranges or cells used to create the graph. Since I'm happy with the graph so far, let's select Customize. And let's select Chart and Access Titles. We can now change the title of our graph. Let's change it to Revenue by Date. We can see the chart updates. And although we've used this option to change the title, we can also simply double click the title in the graph to make changes. Let's make the title bold. And let's change the color of the title. Next, we can see there are titles for the horizontal and vertical axis. For this chart, I'd like to remove these, so I'm going to select Chart Title and select Horizontal Axis Title. Now I can delete the title text. I can now do the same for the vertical axis title. And if you prefer, you can simply double click on the chart and remove these in the same way as editing the title. Now let's select series. We can now change the way the series or the line is presented in the chart. Let's change the color of the series. And let's increase the thickness of the line. We can also add points to the series to see where values are being used from our spreadsheet. And let's increase the size of the points. Let's select Data Labels. This will include the values for each point on the chart. You will notice that the point on the top right is being cut off and the data label is missing. We will adjust the chart in a moment to see this label. We can also add a trend line to our chart. This lets us see the overall change. We can now see that revenue is increasing over time for our example spreadsheet. Now let's select Horizontal Axis. And let's change the text color. And let's select the Vertical Axis. And change the text color. Now let's enter 500 as the maximum value. This sets the maximum value for the vertical axis and means we can now see the label for the point that was being cut off in our chart. Once you're happy with your chart, you can leave it on the current sheet, copy it, or even move it to its own sheet. You'll notice three vertical dots on the top right corner of the chart. Let's select these. And then let's select Move to Own Sheet. We can now see that a new sheet is added to our spreadsheet. And we can see the same options as we did before, but now they're at the top of the chart. We can copy the chart, edit the chart, and publish the chart. You can use this to embed the chart on your website. 
You can also download the chart and delete the chart. Let's select Copy Chart. And let's create a new sheet. Let's name the sheet Dashboard. Now let's paste the chart. We can use this sheet to build a dashboard that contains all of our charts. OK, now let's head back to our Members sheet. And let's create another chart. Let's select the Status column. I'm going to select F2 to F13. And now let's select Insert and Chart. We can see that Google Sheets automatically adds a chart to our sheet. Let's change the chart type to a column chart. And let's leave the default options for the Setup tab and let's select Customize. You'll find similar options to what we covered when we created our line chart. We can see options to customize the chart style, the chart and axis titles, the series and so on. Let's select Series. We can see that this chart is based on a single column from our spreadsheet, so there is only one option for adjusting the color. However, I would like to customize this so that each bar is shown in the color for the membership level. There are two options to do this. We can select Add next to Format Data Point and then choose the data point from the graph. Or we can close this and simply double click the data point we want to change. Let's double click Silver and let's change the color. We can repeat this for the gold and bronze data points. Now let's copy this chart. And let's add it to our dashboard sheet. Now let's head back to our Members sheet. I can remove this chart from the sheet and it will continue to be available on our dashboard sheet. Now let's create a pie chart. I'm going to select the Valid Email column which is used to verify the format of the email addresses of members. So I'm going to select E2 to E13. And now let's select Insert and Chart. And let's change the chart type to Pie Chart. We can see that the chart automatically aggregates the number of true and false results from our column. Let's select Customize and let's choose Pie Chart. We can now adjust the style of our chart. Let's make the chart a donut chart. Now let's select Pie Slice and let's change the colors used for our chart. There are additional customization options you can explore. I'm happy with this chart, so I'm going to copy it to the dashboard sheet. And now let's head back to the Members sheet again. Again, I'm going to remove this chart from the sheet since I've added it to the dashboard. Now I want to show you how to add the charts we've created to your presentations and documents in Google Drive. Let's head back to our dashboard sheet. And let's copy the revenue chart. Let's head to a document. All we have to do is paste the chart into our document. We can now choose if we want the chart to be linked to our spreadsheet. Leaving this option selected means that the chart will update in our document when we make changes to the spreadsheet. Or you can use the Paste Unlinked option so that the chart doesn't update. I'm going to leave the default option selected and click Paste. Our chart is now included in our document and if the spreadsheet is changed, we'll see the option to update the chart in our document. You can also copy and paste your charts into presentations you've created in Google Slides.
I recommend taking some time to explore the different charts and graphs you can use in Google Sheets. You might find some are better than others depending on what you're trying to present and communicate. Try aiming for a visualization that is concise and easy to understand. What charts are you going to use in Google Sheets? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please take a moment to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.